Shooter, shooter. Good, you're fine, back up. Good, we're good, we're good. Sink on him, Trey. Good job, Trey, good job. When it comes to basketball, he's the ultimate competitor. Remember, if it's not Garner, you can really, you can really dig. If it's Garner, you can hug. Good job, next group. And for me, it was a breath of fresh air when I first got here. You know, I was working hour after hour, and I would always hear the ball bouncing in the gym. And it was always Trey. Pass him back. Good, Trey. Good. Good. Shooter, Trey. Good. Yeah. Great job. Let's go. One more trip each group. Coach Collins has been like an, another father figure to me. You know, we've shed tears together. We've laughed together. You know, we've had hard meetings where he's had to be real honest with me. Uh, we instantly connected because both of us have a passion for basketball uh, that's undeniable. I think we share an amazing bond because of a similar childhood. Both of our fathers were really involved in the NBA world, and you know I think we both grew up, you know, seeing great players and seeing kind of the work ethic that it takes to get there. You know, I think that we caught onto that at a young age, and I think it drives us and moves us because we really want to have that kind of success for ourselves. Good transition, push, run with the D. I use him as an example all the time. Good, get it out. Good, through, through. When it comes to his practice habits, if you watch him go through drills, he always goes at game speed. Good, next group. Good job, Trey. He always goes 100% max effort in everything he does. And it's a great role model for all of our young players. He works harder than anybody else on the team and it, and it shows throughout his career. I can look to that and just see, you know, what he's done to become such a great player. And if you want to win in this league, you got to do that job well. We're counting on everybody. That's why it's a team game. It hasn't been easy the last couple years when you're trying to climb the ladder in a tough conference. And there's no question that Trey has been a major part of, of our turnaround and, and our growth as a program. Seven seconds. He gets the screen from Ola. Debs fade away. Three. He got it. Trey Debs three. <laughs> <laughs> Look how tight it is. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> Got that St. Louis look. Yeah, Louis <laughs> right? swag. I met my wife, Heather, my redshirt sophomore year. Um, Reggie Hearn actually told me about a kid who, who needed a mentor. Reggie and I were friends on Facebook, and my brother asked for a mentor to help him with basketball. So he reached out to his teammates, and Trey offered to be that person to mentor Nolan. We just instantly started talking about basketball, and that was like a good connection that we had. It was right around when the season was about to start, so you know I wasn't I wasn't really thinking about her until I got there and saw how pretty she was. I proposed to Heather um, March 22nd, 2015. I went went into this room, and Trey's standing there with like this big banner and tons of roses, and I asked if I would marry him. She's Coach Baldwin. <laughs> <laughs> Like she's looking at her daughters. Were they there too? I think uh, so. Yeah, I think so. We got married uh, June 13th, 2015. You know, it, it was it was a crazy day, but I mean, it was just great to see you know my family, my friends, my teammates there, you know, all supporting me. Trey's wedding was beautiful. It was just a great experience, and just being able to share that with Trey was very neat. What do you want to learn first? <laughs> Uh, I'll do the swaddling. Swaddling first, okay. Heather and I are expecting a baby girl in the middle of March Madness, so we're really looking forward to that. He thinks that I'm going to be the expert, <laughs> and he's not going to know what to do, but I think he'll do great. This is another thing, if you don't swaddle her, you could put her in this. This is a sleep sack, so then she doesn't wiggle around when she sleeps. It makes her feel warm. Some high tech stuff right there. <laughs> Being a father, I think it, it definitely puts things in perspective just because, you know, you want to, you know, give, give your daughter and give your wife the best, you know, life possible and then to just be a happy family. We got to buy some basketball gear. <laughs>
Yes, sir. Let's have an amazing talk right now. Family on three. One, two, three. Pam. Northwestern comes to town at 15 and four. They're the only Big Ted team not to lose a game on the road. They're undefeated 4-0. The Terps will try to change that number tonight here at Xfinity Center. Sulemont, no look pass inside again. Stone, great and catch. Stone gets his first field goal of the night. He's such a good finish. McIntosh out front. He'll take the pull up three, and it's good. Up and down low on the give and go on this easy layup. Finish off there. Double to Lehman. He's wide open to the right corner with a three ball. Yes! Good shots. It's a good set right there against that matchup. Great pace to this game early on. Gems with a drive, and out front it goes to Lindsay with a three on the way, and it's good. So that's the fifth three-pointer for the Wildcats here in the first half. Northwestern's just been on fire down here. Another three, that is good. McIntosh driving, McIntosh runner on the baseline, good by Brian McIntosh. Six point lead now for the Wildcats. Trying to pull up an upset here at College Park, 27-21. Out front to Suleiman. Suleiman heads for the paint. Goes to Nickens. Turnbull takes the three. And got it! There you go, right and there. They out of their first lead of the night, 29 to 27. Suleiman on Dex. Look at what they're doing here defensively, though, John. I mean, there's just nothing going on here for Northwestern. And one thing Mark Turgeon loves is when that team plays defense. That is turnover number 10, seven for the Wildcats. This game might be getting away from this team. Just two points in the first six minutes after the break. Down, shot clock at five. On the drive, step back jumper from the left. Good! His first points of the game. It's a one-point game. Uh, you know what? You get any team opportunities like that, they're going to scorch you. Vince have made some tough buckets. Wildcats Dang. by two, 45-43. Dents in the breakaway, blocked away from behind by Lehman. But the follow was good by Lutman, who picked up the loose ball and jammed it in. Mellow Trimble. Pass the big guy, reverse with the left hand, beat him right to the rim again. Well, these defensive stops become paramount here if you can get a couple of them. Kate Carter gives the outlet pass to Trimble. Trimble hesitates, throws it off the glass, partially blocked away, saved though by Suleiman. Lehman outside, the jumper, it's good! Three for Jake Lehman! How about Rashid Suleiman, though? He gathered that loose ball and made that play. All right, here we go. Tied at 48. Trembled into four court with it. Ten seconds. Seven. Six. Trembled. Here's the fadeaway to win it. Off the front of the iron, it's no good. And we're going to go to overtime. In overtime, 48-48. Lehman with a three ball from the corner. That's no good. Carter with a rebound with two gray shirts right on him. Here's Trimble. He's under the paint with an underhand finger and roll counted. And he is fouled on that oh, play. Man. There it's by three. Dimps goes to lefty. He'll drive with a left hand oh, and scores. Now the Wildcats could take the lead. 
Gaps with the ball. McIntosh, right corner, Demps, jump pass, Van Zegren, layup, got it! Caps lead, 54-53. A minute and 27 to go in this overtime. Mello Trimble, he's got it. The diamond stone yes. going right to the rim. Ball count the basket. Maryland up by three. Terps right here, just all you have to do is force one missed shot, and this thing's in the books. Gibbs backs it up. Suleiman clapping his hands. Screen set by Joey Manjegrin. Gibbs with a long range three to tie. It's no good. And the Terps run off the clock. They win it in overtime, 62 to 56 over a very scrappy Northwestern yes. team. And it's never easy, is it? Ball didn't bounce our way tonight. Nothing seemed to go your way, but you still figured out how to win, okay? So I'm proud of you, I'm really proud of that. Unbelievable effort, really proud of you guys. It's never easy, every game's different, okay? And you got it out and you figured it out. Yeah. All right, great job, guys. Losing sucks, it's not fun, it's never gonna be fun. And you shouldn't be in it if losing doesn't hurt. But I can live with the way my guys fought tonight. You know, just sometimes the game doesn't reward you, you know, like you feel like it should. But I'm really proud of what my team did tonight.